why the masses get left with the scraps. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. What is going on, guys? Brandon here. The average person waits for someone at the top to tell them what to do. Most seek a leader instead of being a leader. Some do more than others. We've all fallen guilty to this. It doesn't mean you have to be a leader to do this. But This is what the ills that have befallen most people and why we're struggling so much as a society. For instance, most cannot see that the money is broken. Our broken money has caused all the modern ills we are experiencing. You could say God as well. This, this article is about money and this video is about money this time. I believe it's God number one and then money number two. You break those things, you break the society. The collectivists, the one world government folks knew this 100 plus years ago and they documented it and we have everything we need to show us that this is the plan. This was the plan the entire time. We've shown the books, things like the naked communist and, and all the literature out there, all these things. I mean, look at how thick this is. This is everything we at our disposal to show us exactly the plan that was laid out to topple capitalism, to topple Western culture, to topple America. Again, you do not need to be a leader. You can be an average person. You can be a pleb. You can be so, someone on the lowest rung, or you can be someone at the top. It doesn't matter. But you can lead yourself no matter what. You can always lead yourself, even if others aren't following you, even if you aren't a leader yourself. It's okay. So things like the money being broken, causing all the modern ills we are facing. Most people are waiting for a government or a figurehead. This is, this is it right here. This is, this is the line. Most are waiting for a government or a figurehead to tell them things are broken and that things must change. Period. End of story. All the problems lie in that fact. I've talked to so many family members friends, people over the years. I just had one of my family members over the last couple of months right around Christmas time say, you know, hey, Brandon, I thought you were crazy for years. And, you know, I, I finally realized like, wow, after the the lockdowns, everything over the last three years, like I realized like government doesn't have our best interests at heart. And I was just like, yes, yes, this is, thank you. This is all I've, I've, I've want people to understand and recognize that you have to put your own mask on first. There's no one else that's going to save you. God himself is not a, needs-based God. He's a rewards-based God, meaning you don't just get something because you need it. And most people just think they can throw their stick on the ice. They're entitled to something. That's not how life works. Life does not work like that. God himself does not work like that. And even in the first nature, nature's principle, the first principles and nature's law, that's not how things work either, right? So in theology and in science, things don't work that way. There must be action. There must be action to create the reaction. So in science, we see that. And then in, in, in theology, we see that. Same thing. God is a rewards-based God, not a needs-based God. So it's so important to see that. And most people are waiting for government or waiting for a figurehead or waiting for a doctor to give them a diagnosis or whatever it is until they realize that something's broken. They, they're just waiting, waiting to be led anywhere. And, and like Robert Kiyosaki always says, don't say, hey, I've got $10,000 and I'm looking what to do with it because there'll be a plenty of people that come out of the woodwork and say, hey, give it to me. I'll tell you what to do with it. If you don't know what to do, if you aren't researched, if you aren't figuring out yourself what is going on, you're going to have a hard time. You're, it's going to be very difficult. If you don't have an understanding of logic and reasoning, first principle, first, first principle is nature's law. And it goes on. If you don't have this understanding, it's going to make things very tough for you. It's going to be hard to navigate this, this world that we live in. Again, waiting for a government or figurehead to tell you things are broken and for you to take a jump, take a risk, take a gamble. Everything's a risk. People are like, oh, I'm just going to save my money. So saving fiat currencies is the biggest risk of all. You're in a failing currency. All fiat currencies go to zero. You've just seen another bank this week fall and, and, and go down. We've been talking about this for years, years. The banking system is a Ponzi. The dollar is a Ponzi. You can't taper a Ponzi, as Max Kaiser says. So waiting for a government or figurehead to tell you things are broken and that their system is broken is like asking a realtor if you should sell your home by owner. So they wait around and miss things like Bitcoin because it's not mainstream and being talked about all over media or in government. They don't believe it or they just simply don't trust their own instincts. So most miss the boat because they are constantly looking and waiting for someone else to give them the all clear. Everything's clear, guys. Everything's safe and sanitary. Everything's safe and sanitary now, guys. So you can, you can come in. You can come in now. In that time, the money is already made and the average person misses the boat. Welcome to ETFs, 
uh, to the dot com bubble back in the day. I mean, the, the the public, as you've seen, never gets wealthy. Like the, the public doesn't like, oh, hey, I'm getting wealthy all of a sudden. It's because we're in a broken fiat currency system, and Wall Street obfuscates the truth and takes all the profits for themselves because of the broken fiat currency system. Things like CNBC and the Wall Street, you know, like Journal, there they're going to come out and tell you these, you know, hey, you should get into this. Those are follow the money, guys. This is these are paid advertisers going. Financial planners are 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 advertisers for Wall Street. They're salesmen for Wall Street to get you in to suck you into the fees into equities. We talk about this all the time here. The credit market is the biggest market in the world. Equities are just a derivative of that. Equities mean nothing. You're you're playing downstream. You're playing with the symptoms of what's going on to attack the core issue. And this is the 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 buckets. This is the buckets we talk about all the time. If you get this, you understand everything. You understand the world. Fortunately. Bitcoin is just money though. It's just money, a finite container for your finite time. The best trade man has ever found for its time. So it is always, always a good time to swap your depreciating fiat currency for appreciating sound money. The lesson is in using your instincts and your intuition. We have six higher faculties that only humans possess. Intuition, will, reason, imagination, perception, and memory. And only we can hone and train ourselves on these unique skills and move off the bottom rungs of Maslow's hierarchy permanently as a species. Let's look within and trust ourselves instead of seeking validation and reassurance from others, which is often misplaced. Government and other people are not out to save you or take care of you. As Jim Rohn said, if you rely on government for your retirement, you can divide by five at the end of your life. And if you rely on yourself, you can multiply your wealth by five. Here's to being a playable character in a sea of non-playable characters. Stay strong. Please, Share this out. The algorithm hates truth. I appreciate you coming to my TED Talk. Please question everything with boldness, even the existence of God himself. This is freedom advice, not financial advice. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.